Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Carmen Shutrup. The governor began by recognizing Parkland's 17 victims. Unfortunately, none of the plans I'm announcing today will bring any of them back. The governor's plan calls for hiring an armed school resource officer for every 1,000 students, requiring schools to add security measures before making other repairs and raising the age to buy any gun to 21. We need to be swift and decisive. Scott would also create a violence restraining order to take a gun away for at least 60 days from someone making threats. 60 days the minimum. After that, you have to go back to the court. The plan does not ban assault-style weapons, which thousands marched for on Wednesday. I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment and the First Amendment and the entire Bill of Rights, for that matter. State lawmakers launched an almost identical plan and say the $450 million sought by the governor for security is not out of line. Where they differ is allowing a trained, armed, deputized civilian to carry in schools. And so law enforcement takes responsibility for them like they would any other deputy. Lawmakers highlighted 21 points of failure. Now they're asking law enforcement to check their records. See if there is another person like this out there. That warnings have been given and tips have been called in. All agree if the changes had been in place, Nicholas Cruz would never have gotten a gun or kept it. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.